Hi everybody and welcome back to Exploring Bricks. In the last couple of vlogs we've been building or we have been building a bird. Not any kind of bird, it's the kingfisher. True. And also some flowers. So now it's time for something different. And a couple of weeks back we bought all these space sets. So we figured we should build them and also compare them to the old space sets. The 1980 space sets that we grew up with. I'm so excited. Which set would you like to start with? Oh, should we start with the small ones or the really big ones or... <sighs> you pick one and I pick one. I go for one in the middle. Oh, I picked the big car! And I take the biggest set. So let's put these away and let's start building. And we are finally done. It took us a couple of nights and we built, I think, about four or five hours altogether, or maybe more. Yeah, something like that. And this is it. What's your overall impression of it? I really like it. I think they are so much fun. Is there any specific set you want to highlight? Oh, I like them all <laughs> because they are so playable. They really awake your imagination. We actually said it when we built it that if we had these kind of sets when we were kids, we would have loved them. Now, I'm not that convinced, to be honest. They are nice sets, but there are something missing in some of them. It's it might be that LEGO also are planning on adding on to this collection or this range and that would be a nice feature because we do have some sets like this. I feel it needs something else to actually be fun to play with. But let's go through them one by one. So first off we have this one. It's a small build. Right off the bat when you look at everything you can see that the color scheme is similar in all the different sets. And it's a really nice color scheme. I like that. And they use the orange to enhance certain features of the builds. They also use gold color at some places to make it pop a little bit. But there are limited playable features to the set nonetheless. This one is one of those sets that actually have something to offer. It has a button that you can push and when you push it you open up the thrusters or whatever it's called back there to move faster I guess. And you can also put these shields up. Not sure if it's supposed to be a thrust reverse feature or, or what it actually is supposed to do but nevertheless it's a nice feature. And then we have the cockpit. It's very basic simple. There is a little computer here printed Piece. And it fits one minifigures nicely in there. So all in all it's a decent build and one of the things that I like the most about it is the consistency throughout the sets. Not only when it comes to the colors but also when it comes to the space logo. Even though it's a modern version of it, it still is the old original space logo and that's really nice. And also these, the battery yeah. packs. You can see them all over in all sets and even in the small stations here. So they come with a printed piece that has has a battery charger and some sort of display on it and also the battery itself because I think that's what the sets are based around. They are harvesting these crystals or minerals or whatever it is that makes these things fly and operate but they come in two different colors. In pink and blue. Not sure what the difference is between the two of them. The blue or purple or whatever it is is more commonly used throughout all these sets. The pink one is more rare, I think. Second up, we have a four plus set. And these are normally not that fun. Naturally, it's a four plus set. But what do you think of this one? You built this one as well. Well, it was very, very easy to build even for me. And it has the same feature with these like wings to make it go faster. And you can also open up the cockpit. It's really nice. It's neat, but it's simple as a four plus set should be. It's worth mentioning that these sets comes with parts of these things up front here, but we're gonna cover them separately. Then we're moving on to the bigger sets. This was so much fun to build. I really liked it. It's quite heavy, isn't it? It's the Rover and it has six wheels and they can move differently and that's so fun. And you also have a suspension for the two front wheels. So it actually, I guess, can be pretty fun to play with. And as you can see, the 
power, use, energy are there. And there's also a small feature in the back. You can open up a, a hatchet. Not go all the way through, but still get inside of the rover. And here's one thing that I don't like about this specific set, and it's also similar to some of the other sets we're gonna cover later. This cockpit glass does not have hinges. So in order to actually get minifix inside it, you have to remove the whole piece. Once you've done it, you can easily fit two persons in there. But then again, once you've got them in there, you have to put the whole top piece back on. I don't know why they didn't put hinges on this one. I don't know. It's beyond me since they did it in the less pricey sets. One of the major drawbacks if you are pinpointing specific features in these sets. Apart from that, the consistency is great. And I bet it's a lot of fun to play with. Absolutely, I really like it. The second biggest one is this one. This is like a space station where I guess the minifigures live. It's a surprisingly sturdy build. You can actually move it around and be quite brutal with it. Each pod, is it called a pod? Yeah, sure. It's called a pod. Each pod has different features in them. So you have like a room where the crew can sleep. You have this one, I know you like this one. Where you grow your own vegetables in space. You need veggies in space. This is like a tool shed where they can repair stuff. We have a satellite dish and we have something where they are harvesting the more rare pink mineral. What do we have here? It's oh, the kitchen. With a small coffee maker and a sandwich and a water bottle. And this is one thing that's actually pretty cool with these sets. The smaller sets doesn't have this feature, but all the bigger sets have it. Each pod is removable. And then we have what they call an airlock. It's this orange piece. Each of these pods on this build, the same goes for part of the big rocket ship. And I do believe one part of the big station here as well can be attached to form a long train. Pretty nice feature. But regardless from that, I think this is one of the more disappointing set in the range. Even though it's a kind of cool set to... How? What? What's disappointing about it? I think there's, I don't know, limited playability. What saves it a bit and what makes it okay, I guess, is the fact that you can attach each pod to each other and build this train-like thingy. But the set in itself is... I don't know what you are supposed to do with it. It's supposed to play like space house. They eat here, they live there. It's like a little dollhouse, but it's in space and in Lego. Dollhouses in space, no good combination. Regardless, there are some features that I don't know what they're there for. There are some twisty knobs on the top here, one on the back. I'm hoping that there will be an add-on for this one in the future that might add a little extra to the playability or to the look of it. So the biggest set in the range is this one. It's actually three major parts of it. And then there are some smaller parts as well. This is the big building. We do have a ramp with a spaceship on it. And we also have a truck that comes with the same set. And starting with the smallest one here, the truck, it's by far the least of my favorites within all these sets. It's a weird looking truck. This thing here comes off, so it's supposed to go on the crane, I guess. So there are some playable features, but 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 just the look of it. I, I think it's cute. I hate it. <laughs> is so cute. I, I don't know, they've done a decent job designing everything else, but that one is just odd. I understand what you mean. It's it's, it's blocky. Not, it's, 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 it's not that developed. There are no like special features or it's just a truck. That being said, that's not why you buy this set. It's for these two things and they are pretty cool. The spaceship here, the bigger spaceship is really, really nice, especially since it comes with a ramp. The ramp has some really nice features. These lights along the sides of the ramp, it's a really nice touch. And the ship in itself, it is a pretty cool ship. A little bulky, but I think it's okay. It has the same feature as the pods on the space station. You can open it up and inside you find a charging station for both pink and purple. Energized use, power, space use. Thingies. This one comes off the back of this set. It has the same features as these pods, so you can attach them to the bigger build if you like to, which is a nice feature. You can combine the sets. What I don't like about this is the same that goes for the big space rover. You have to remove the whole piece if you want to enter the cockpit. Why? Cannot be that hard to add hinges here. The cockpit in itself is fairly large. You can easily fit one figure in there and it comes with two different chargeable purple oh. mineral packs. 
It's a real power spaceship. And the biggest part of this set is of course the crane and the base station. There are some really nice features to it. You do have a sliding door that's not so sliding, but you can remove it by hand to get access to the inside. And you can open it up. Wow! Inside you have three different parts or three different areas. First of all, we have what I guess is some sort of laboratory. On the center part of it, we do have a thing that you can spin. And this is where the minifigs can charge their gear. So once they are done with their mission for the day, they move inside and then they hang up their gear. Really nice feature. The last room? The kitchen. And I'm so glad we have a really big sandwich in space <laughs> and coffee. But it's nice. Always need coffee. It's a nice kitchen. It's a really nice feature that you can open it up and actually play with it. Also on the base has an airlock. So you can attach the base to all these different modules as well. So as long as any part has this orange piece, in it. Uh -huh. It's attachable to another orange piece regardless of which set it comes from. Then we have the top of the space station of course, the crane. And it comes with two features. Uh, first of all it's the crane. It's revolving freely around the build. The crane can be operated through this little knob here. So you can lower the crane. You can also extend it for quite a bit. But that adds a lot of playability to the set. Apparently I'm not a good crane operator. Let's put it on the ugly truck. And the last part is the top part because somebody has to be monitoring what they do in this space station or monitoring the crane and that's done here. You can easily lift the top of the building and you get access to a control area with four different seats, some printed pieces that are quite similar to the old Lego space pieces that we are familiar with. This is the biggest and also the priciest set but I think this is the one that's well worth it. So if I were to buy this like a gift or something I would go for this one rather than a couple of the smaller ones. I think this is way way better than the other things combined. We do have the smaller sets as well. This is the mech. It's a fairly small piece but it has the same consistent features as the other ones. There are some playability with its arm. You can punch somebody with his right arm and you can pinch something with his left arm and you can of course fit a minifigure in it. And it also has these power chargers on the back. And I think for being a mech I think it's really good. Yeah actually. I like it. I like his shoes. They're really sturdy. And the smallest one by far is of course the poly bag. And it comes with a very small hovercraft or small spaceship. Nice little build. Not that special, not that much that you can do with it. Still being a poly bag, cannot expect that much from it either. It comes with a minifigure and also comes with two of these small landscape pieces as well. It's just an add-on. And it's a giveaway that you get when you buy specific products from a store. So when it's free, hard to complain. These sets also come with additional tiny builds to add to the playability. And we've gathered them in one big pile here. So these all come from different sets. These are supposed to be the landscape, I guess, where the minifigures are working during the day before they go back home to these stations and do whatever they do at night. And they are, I guess, okay. It's another thing that I wish was more present in these sets, especially the bigger, the pricier ones. There should be more area around it or more play features around the sets as well. These are quite small and even if we have all of them, in this case four, it doesn't make up that much of a play space. There are some tiny, tiny features to it. You can twist the knob to remove some pieces and reveal some minerals within the mountain. The crane, also from the plus four set, I have to say that's the best one out of these four landscape pieces. You can open it up and you will find more of the purple crystal. The other ones are... Mm, I don't know, they could, they could have done something else, something more. They are not that fun. But then again, the colors are really nice. I like the orange, the light yellow, the turquoise. The colors are really nice. The sets also comes with these space creatures. There are four of them combined from all the sets that are similar. And then we have one big creature and that from the four plus set. I think they are quite fun. Yeah, they're nice. Very simple, very slick in their design but yeah fun pieces adds to the playability as well i actually think these are worth more in terms of playability than these landscape pieces and then we have the droids 
there are four of them two of them are quite similar they all come with this battery pack as well which is really nice to see it's consistent even in the smaller parts lastly the minifigures there are so many of them so we have the yellow the blue the green and then we have the commander and within each color there are differences between all the minifigures we are not sure what the colors represent and we we have different guesses to what they represent so should we start with the yellow minifix i believe they are scientists i believe they are the one who are using the laboratories to investigate the crystal i think they're just workers regardless of what they are there are four of them and each color has a leader so we do have one figure with a brown helmet here and he i think it's a he is the leader for that group he sticks out with his brown helmet he also has some power tools there are some tiny differences to the other figures as well apart from the headpiece usually the difference is in the back of the figure with different attachments to their spacesuits but for workers slash scientists let's move to the green ones then i think they are workers <laughs> <laughs> and i think they are scientists there are more of them regardless of what they are they come with a bunch of nice little features we do have like a metal detector a camera i really like the camera guy That's everybody nice. has this satellite backpack except for one guy the blue ones we have the same opinion about that at least there are seven of them as well six regular blue ones and one girl that's the leader of this group also comes with two figures that doesn't have a backpack what do we think their profession is they are the pilots has to be and I, they were actually in the brochure seated in the different spaceships or rovers so kind of gave it away but they also comes without any unnecessary accessories so that's also a hint that they had a different occupation or a different role to play in this world we're fairly certain that they are pilots we might be way off or wrong here so let us know in the comment section if you have another educated <laughs> guess but the last one is the commander we can agree on that yeah, I think it's some kind of admiral. And she has gold parts. She's a black figure, the black visor as well. So yeah, she sticks out like a sore thumb amongst this crowd. So she is apparently the leader. Yes, yeah, so she's got white gloves. What I do like about these figures is that they all have the space emblem or insignia on their chest. It's really nice to see that Lego hasn't foregone that feature. All right, so if we compare it to the vintage Lego space, which range do you prefer? Oh, well, I will go for the new one. I really like them. I think the old ones are smaller, not that developed, and I love the colors here. I will go for the new ones. These are way more advanced. They are way more realistic. I mean, it's better sets but it doesn't have that charm that the vintage sets has but i do think like you said they're just better the sets all this other stuff here not so sure i i, I think they could have done more with it i think they're a little bit like the advent calendar there are basic pieces put together but the minifigures i think i like the classic one better i agree even though the helmets and all the accessories and everything here is way more detailed there's just something yeah. about these old minifigures if you have kids that are into lego they are decent buys but that being said they aren't that pricey not even the big ones aren't that pricey so i guess it's kind of affordable and now the big question for us is what do we do with all this stuff oh i don't know well maybe we should sell it do you want to keep this <laughs> the ugly truck we're certainly not gonna have it out here thank you so much for watching if you haven't already please click that like and subscribe button we would really appreciate it we we'll see you in the next vlog. Bye. Bye-bye.